Good day and welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to draw the solution to the above mechanism loci problem. The question says the rod AO rotates anticlockwise at constant speed about O through 180 degrees. During this movement, the point P moves from P to P1 and back to P at constant speed. Draw the locus of P during the complete movement of OA. So we we'll start first by replicating the figure above. We replicated the figure above. From the figure above, they say the distance between this point and this point here is 20 millimeter. And the distance between this point and this point here is 76 millimeter. Next is to divide your line, line P, P1 into a convenient number of equal parts. So for this video, I'll be dividing the line into three equal parts. So I'll be following the principle of line division. So as usual, to divide the line first, you draw inclined line this way. Next, you have to mark off points of equal interval on your inclined line. So since we are dividing our line into three equal parts. So I'm marking up three points. So after marking the points, next is to place your ruler and your set square this way. So your ruler and your set square should be placed in such a way that this side of your set square passes through your point P1 and the last point you marked on your inclined line. Then you can now draw a line. After drawing the line, slide your set square without moving your ruler to the next point you marked on your inclined line. That is this point. Then draw another line. Then finally to the first point you marked. So number the points where lines of division intersect your line. Next, extend this line here. There is this line AO. So after extending the line, place your compass on point O. So after placing the compass on point O, adjust the compass in such a way that the pencil is on point P1. That is the radius of your compass will be, will be OP1. Then draw a semicycle below.
after drawing the semicycle, the next thing is to divide the semicycle. So we are dividing the semicycle into six equal parts. So this is because we divide our line P, P1 into three equal parts. So then we have to divide our semicycle into six equal parts. I will be doing so using my 60 degree set square. You can number the points where lines of division intersect your semicycle this way. So you number this point here, you call this point one, call this point two, this point here three, then this point two, this point here one. So after doing that, next you place your compass on point O. Then adjust the compass to point one. Then cut arc on the line you label one, the line of division of the semicycle you labeled one. After that, adjust your compass to point two. Then cut an arc on line two. Then adjust the compass to point three. Then you can cut an arc on line 3. So the arc will be on the circumference of your semicycle. Next, adjust the compass to point 2. Then cut an arc on your line 2 here. Then adjust the compass to point 1. Then cut an arc on your line 1. Also, adjust your compass to point P. So, cut an arc on the extended line here. So, after cutting the arcs, number the point where arcs cut through the line this way. So, I'll call this point here P1. This point P2. Here P3. This point here should be called P4. And this point here also. Then this point here should be called. So this point here should be called P2, not P4. This point here P1 and this point P. So let's continue. Let's produce the curve. So I'll be producing the curve using my French curves. So I will produce a curve to pass through the P points. That is all the P points. I will dimension the work. We are done with this video. 
your colleagues will appreciate you if you share this video with them. Like this video and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thank you.